think I needed a day like today. It is absolutely pouring with rain. It's super hard to get up this morning, but I'm glad that I still got to the gym. Um, I need to do some cleaning. This place that I'm in is an absolute mess. I've just let it go for months on end. And finally, I think today's the sort of day to really get stuck into it. So this morning, I'm gonna spend a bit of time cleaning the office. There's a lot that needs to get sorted out. A lot of strewing clothes everywhere. A lot of books on the floor. There's just a lot of stuff that just needs to get fixed up. So I think it's going to make me feel a whole lot better and make this day a little bit more productive if I can get that done to start the day. Um, but ultimately, I'm just going to take the camera around again, show you what I get up to as a full-time reseller, and hopefully you get some value out of it. So let's start the day with some cleaning and uh, we'll see how we go from there. That was 20 minutes worth of work. The place is looking really good. I've obviously gone ahead and cleaned up that corner space, which was looking awful about 20 minutes ago. I've cleaned up the bookshelf as well. There were a heap of books lying on the floor as you would have seen before. So I've put them all into the shelf and they're starting to look pretty good as well. This little space down here was where I had all my cardboard boxes and that was just causing a bit of a mess. So I've cleaned that out, put them downstairs into the cupboard and it just makes this less of a cluttered space and it makes you a little bit more productive. I think if you've got that working space, it's clean, tidy, and presentable. Um, so definitely a job that I've neglected, but it only took me about 25 minutes and we are looking pretty damn good. So let's get on to the next task. What I might do is collect the orders that sold overnight. I'll show you what they were and um, we'll keep charging on with this day, but uh, 8.30 in the morning, not a bad start. <music> there guys my overnight sales uh, we've had $350 in total come through obviously the biggest of the bunch being the VCR for 140 I took a best offer on these at $42.50 free postage uh, the two Nikes they both went for about 50 as you would have seen uh, I thought this was really cool this was just a dollar in the thrift just a replica baggy green ashes cap uh, sold for 30 bucks and just some cheap t-shirt sales as well so Seven sales, $350 worth, not too bad for a single day on eBay. A question that I got asked on my YouTube channel recently was, what would I do if I was part-time or casual? I'm, I'm full-time at the moment and all my numbers are escalated because I'm trying to make this a full-time job. But if I just want to make a couple of extra dollars, which I know is the case for a lot of you guys out there, how would I attack things? And I had a bit of a think and the way I'd go about it would be to have one big sourcing day every single week. And I'd try and fit that into my schedule. If I was working Monday to Friday, nine to five, I'd go out into the thrift stores every single Saturday and try and source an entire week's worth of items. And then I would list every single day and I would just do a small amount. It might be two, it might be three, all dependent upon how many items you source. But I would divide out how many items I bought on a single day by seven. And then that would be the number of listings that I would do for that particular week. And I think that would be a really good way to keep the consistency with eBay 
because whether you're casual or whether you're full-time, consistent listing, I believe, is a great way to continue to get sales come through. So if I was to source 21 items on a Saturday, I'd make sure that I listed three items for that week every single day. Um, and really, I think that'd be a great way to continue to bring a few dollars in every single week and make it a bit of a side hustle. So for the guys that have asked me that question over the last few weeks, that's the way I'd go about things. And let me know in the comments if you think that's a good way yourself. Hey, so good news guys, I've been able to sell, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen a post that I threw up a couple of days ago around a hall table that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. Well, a lady's just sent me a $50 deposit. We're done, this one is locked away. I'm super stoked because I've sold it for $180. I've made 130 bucks on this hall table. It was in really good condition. The story behind this one, was it was on Facebook Marketplace and it was up for 15 minutes by the time that I saw it. And I messaged her and I said, is it available? And she said that somebody was coming around at two o'clock in the afternoon, basically to buy it for $30. And I knew that it was worth upwards of 200 bucks. So cheekily, I said to her, look, I can come around right now. This was 10 in the morning. I said, I'll pick it up right now and I'll give you 50 bucks for it. And she said yes. They don't always say yes when you run that tactic, but this lady said, yep, sure, 50 bucks, come and grab it now. So I raced around the corner and the best part about it was it was literally only two, three minutes away from my place. And uh, sure enough, it was in 100% condition, solid wood, uh, would have cost a bomb to buy initially. And uh, the place that she was in, it was such a nice house as well. You kind of just got good vibes that it was gonna be a good pickup. And uh, yeah, sure enough, I picked it up at 10 a.m. I've listed it up on, on the same day at about midday, uh, cause it's only been up for 15 minutes. So I figured why not? And um, it's just come through, it's just sold. It's taken a couple of days, but it's ended up selling for the full price of $180. And she is happy to come and pick it up. So I don't even have to go and deliver it. I've secured the sale. I said, look, I, can, I can't do holds, but I can take a deposit. And she said, how much do you need for a deposit? I said, 50 bucks will do. And uh, she said she'll be here later on in the week. So just a ripping result, put an extra 180 bucks in the pocket. It's Tuesday, first furniture sale of the day done. Um, yeah, fingers crossed we can go out and buy a couple more pieces this week and make it a pretty good week. So I'm just gonna go out into a couple of the local thrift stores, guys. A mini thrift, a mini trip to the thrift for you guys. Um, hopefully I can do better than last Thursday because that was an absolute stinker. Uh, but I'm feeling good about it. We're only gonna do one or two. I'm just around the corner from my place. I thought I'd duck out um, to try and hopefully bring you some thrifted heat, but um, no guarantees. We'll see how we go. I'll see you in the thrift. I'll show you what I got. Now, I normally make a beeline for the shoes, but I couldn't ignore Crash Bandicoot and Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PlayStation 2. They were charging just $4. And I've also found some Nike Air Maxes as well, but I did pass on these. They were asking $12, but I thought in the end, the condition of them wasn't really that great. Super Mario Brothers on the Nintendo Wii, hiding in the corner. I've paid just $2, and this one sells on eBay for $35. And then this one as well, Eureka, the DVD series, seasons one to five. I bought it for five and it sells for 50. Song of the Pen as well from Banjo Patterson. I bought this for $5 and it goes on as again to sell for 40 to $50. So I had to grab that one. And then the shoes was doing uh, some really good things for me actually. These ones were only $8, some Nike skateboarding shoes. And then I found a really nice pair of Adidas shoes as well for just $3, if you can believe, in really, really good condition. So all in all, it was a really, really good day in the thrift. Hey guys, another question that I'm getting asked quite a bit from you guys is, um, do I go to the same op shops on the same day each and every week? And my answer to that is yes, I do. Um, I do have four different routes that I take for my op shop runs and I try to do one of those routes on any given day every single week. So my Thursday trip to the thrift, for example, I go to the same four op shops every single week and I do it for a specific reason to try and build the relationships with the guys in those op shops. They're generally gonna be working the same day and I get to pop in and say hi. They then get to understand that that's when I pop in and say hello. Um, and the relationship builds from there. So I've now got that with a lot of different op shops around the Gold Coast because they know that I come in on the same day. So 
I think that's a really key thing for you guys out there. And as I was touching on before in this episode, going out to the op shop to do your major sourcing on the same time, the same day, each and every week, you'll start to get to know the people that work in there and that's actually gonna work in your favor in the long run. So I'm enjoying the process of doing that. Monday, I've got my day, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Saturday. They're my four sourcing days and I'm doing the same route on every single day and saying hello to the same people. Um, never any guarantees, obviously, when you go into the thrift that you're gonna be there on the right day to get the great items that, that go in. Um, so I don't tend to worry about that. I just kind of stick to my process. On this day, I go to these op shops and I just, fingers crossed, hope for the best. So that'd be how I'd answer that one, guys. Um, if you can, go to the same op, op shops on the same day and you'll get a good result. All right, so I'm back home now, guys. And I've had a good win on Facebook Marketplace. I've got a lady that's coming to pick up some Ninja Turtle toy figures that I've thrown up for $30. Um, here they are here. Check them out. These guys. So I've sold them for 30 bucks on Marketplace. She's gonna come around and pick them up now. There's about 13 of them. I probably could have got a few more dollars on eBay, but hey, no fees on Facebook Marketplace. And I was talking about it quite a bit. Have a look at those. It's not a bad grab. I've done pretty well for 30 bucks. I probably should have put a few more on it. Um, this guy's huge. Look at that. She's actually got a steal here for $30. Um, but anyway, that's the second Facebook Marketplace sale today. I'm putting a lot more of a focus into Marketplace to avoid those fees of eBay. And hopefully at the end of the month, my overall percentage of fees will be a whole lot less because I've just had more sales come through on Marketplace. So she's about maybe 15, 20 minutes away. I'm going to look these out, put them in a bag for her, go and have some lunch, and then hopefully she turns up on time. I think that might be her. There she is. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Hi. Well. So every lunchtime, what I like to tend to do is just sit on Facebook Marketplace and look for my furniture items to purchase again. And I've obviously just sold the whole table, so I'd like to go out and find something else. And potentially, we can find some this afternoon. I'll go out and get it. So I'm going to do some digging for the next 15, 20 minutes, and hopefully we can come up with a pretty good option to go and purchase. And if it can be around that $50 price point, obviously even better. So I'll let you know how we go. Good news guys, I've been able to find an entertainment unit that is available, it's just been listed and it's only $50, so right in the ballpark of how I like to strike. Now, this one's in Pacific Pines, so I've got to go out for a bit of a drive pretty much right now to go and pick this one up. It's the best way to be on Marketplace, you just got to go straight away. So I'm going to go and pick it up, here's what it looks like, uh, it's just a really nice chocolate brown, um, no damage, she said it's, it's in very good condition, um, so hopefully she's right because there is only one photo to go off. Um, so I'm gonna rip around right now, pick it up, uh, come back, and if I've got a bit of time this afternoon, I'll try and give it a bit of a clean and maybe even list it. Um, but yeah, pretty stoked about this one. I've just sold the whole table, and now we're about to go and get another piece of furniture to flip for hopefully the same amount. I'll see you over there. Got him, he was a really nice piece, uh, nice chocolate brown. Um, got a bit of uniqueness on the handle as well, so I think it might go on to sell for at least the 150 that I'd normally get. Um, might even list it up for maybe 180 and we'll see how we go. So look, for 50 bucks, I couldn't say no to that. I think we'll go on to do pretty well. More good news on Facebook Marketplace. I've just had a message for a pair of footy boots that I bought uh, out of the Nike factory outlet. So. A little bit of retail arbitrage to end the day. I bought the footy boots for 70 bucks in the Nike store and the person's gonna come around and pick them up for $110. So pretty stoked there to make a $40 profit on a pair of brand new Nike footy boots. 
Um, so I'm gonna shoot back home now. I've got my, uh, obviously I've got my entertainment unit. Um, so I'll pull that in and then I'll, uh, I'll deliver the footy, well not deliver the footy boots, they'll come and pick it up. So it's been a busy day on Facebook Marketplace, that's for sure. But fingers crossed I can get back in time because it's uh, five o'clock for a pickup and it's now 4.40 and I'm probably about 25 minutes from home. So I'm gonna have to get a wriggle on and hopefully I'm not leaving them high and dry back at my place. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get the deal done and round out a pretty good day on Marketplace. Good day, mate. Good How are you? Good. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> there you go, mate. A pair of brand new ones. Yeah. That's a bit. 110. Yeah, thanks very much, mate. No all problem. the best. Thanks for coming and grabbing them no for us. No worries, him. thanks. Thanks, appreciate it. See you later. Right, so we are done guys. Uh, it was a good one to end the day actually. $110, paid 70, so $40 profit for a pair of footy boots bought out of the Nike factory, just crazy. Um, look, end of the day, we've had $320 on Facebook Marketplace with the haul table for 180, the Ninja Turtles for 30, and then obviously the footy boots for 110. So to get 320 bucks in one day on Marketplace is really, really good. If we had this every single day, Marketplace would be a breeze. A couple of eBay sales as well that have come in that I might hold on to until our what sold episode on Sunday. But collectively, we've made $400 here today while I've been out shooting this video with you guys. So super cool that that's been able to happen and kind of take place throughout the day to be able to kind of show you that. Um, I do need to go on list though, and I need to edit this video and get this one out for you tonight. I love to edit straight away as soon as I finish doing all of this shooting and all of this talking is I like to get onto the computer, edit the video and get it out to you. So I um, hope you've enjoyed the episode. Hope you've got something out of it. Let me know what your biggest takeaway was from today's episode. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you in the next trip to the thrift on Thursday, which I'm very, very pumped about. We're going to grab some great items. I just know it. Um, so thanks very much for tuning into this, guys. Always appreciate your support and look forward to catching you in the next. We'll see you soon. Bye.